Hello, it's um, it's what's it, the 21st of um, April, um, and it'll be the fourth day, uh, not fourth day, the third day that I'll be going on the fen rod and just fishing the night, um, in the hope of getting one during the night, because um, no, the last two sessions I've blanked, um, and but I've been trying, trying different things all the time. I think the last session I'd moved into a peg where there'd been two people fishing on the lake and um, they'd moved. I moved in on top of them and um, uh, surprisingly I blanked um, even though there was fish topping and showing all around. Um, so it was a bit of a bad choice there. Um, shame there's just no signs of telling you where people have been the previous nights. Um, <laughs> but that's fishing, in it? Um, I haven't actually left the house yet, so I'm parked about at the back of the house, and um, I'm going to be heading down to the Fend Road now, um, hopefully, because it's, it's, it's a lovely day, it's boiling hot, um, it's going to be good Friday tomorrow, so a lot of people are going to be off work, hopefully I'll be able to get, um, get a peg, um, a tidy one, um, if not, I'll just take what I can and do my my uh, strike three on the Fend Road, and um, let's just hope I... Uh, I actually hit the ball this time. All right then, I'll uh, I'll see you when I get on the lake. Right, it's um, it's about half past ten. Um, I got down here probably quarter to nine. Um, took a walk round. There was a lot more people than I thought there would be down here. Um, being was it Good Friday tomorrow and everyone's on got bank holidays off work and everything like that. So. It's not going to be like uh, Tuesday night when I had virtually it was just me and two others. But uh, but hopes are high. There's a lot of fish moving around. I don't know. That could be a bad thing because of the heat we've had. It could be the start of uh, carp spawning. But there is a lot of fish moving around. Um, so I've I've actually changed baits again now today. I've gone for the cell and I got cell pellets as well. So I'm. Just single cell bottom bait with a uh, a small PVA bag with uh, cell pellets and um, crushed cell boilies. Uh, let's just hope that does the trick. Um, that's about all I can add at the moment. Uh, it's it's probably set up in the dark. It was hard work um, getting everything done. Uh, I'm gonna sit here and tie another couple of rigs now and see if I can't. Uh, then maybe change them over closer to midnight. Um, and uh, let's just hope that I get a fish on the bank and uh, it'll be worthwhile. I won't be, uh, so this is strike three now on the fend rod in what, in seven days. In a span of seven days, it'll be my third third night on here. So uh, let's just hope it's worth it now. All right, then. I'll, uh, I'll probably get to a little update early hours. Um, I'll see what happens. All right, then. I'll speak to you later. ta -da. Um, tied up two new rigs then for the rods. Um, as you can see, it's a piece of uh, glow in the dark corner and a cell boilie and a size 8 Camerson carp specialist hook. And it's just normal mainline braid they've used for the rig. I'm going to do a thread on a PVA bag once I've done this one by there. I've done it like a, a burger with crushed boilie on one side, pellets in the middle, and crushed boilie to top it off. I'll pull that down all the way. So I'll put a bit of, uh, put a bit of uh, that heavy metal putty, putty and two little spots on the line just to pin it down a bit more. And um, I'll put them out in about five ten minutes. All right then. All right, it's um, it's about twenty past three, and um, I just had uh, just had a fish on for a change. Uh, it's a it's a big common, biggish common for me anyway. Uh, I'm going to weigh it, so let's have a look at what it weighs. I've already zeroed the scales.
So, it's coming in there. Oop. Stopping at 14, about 14, 12. It was a totally weird one. It uh, oh, it rent when I thought thought it was a bream. It wasn't fighting at all until I got it to the margins, and uh, <laughs> then it was a good ten minutes in the margins. Wouldn't give up at all. So it's just a long time coming. It's my first fish from the Fender for a very long time. Uh, let's get a photo and get it back. Let's get it, get, let's get it pressed back. Um, it's, uh, this is my first first ever fish on mainline cell. Uh, Right, um, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I had that, uh, I just, well, I had the run and, um, it was beeping off like a bream. It was, it was like two little beeps, a couple of seconds, two little beeps, and then it pulled a bit more. And I thought, that's what I just instantly thought, bream. Um, because that's, that's the way the bream run on this, like, and whatever else I fished. Um, I picked it up and it just, it felt like a lump, and when it, because the beef bream in here are really big, it just felt like a lump, and it was just like s slowly plodding in, slowly plodding in, and I, it just, everything red, bream, um, until I got it within about three rod lengths, and then it decided to go, I'm going to swim through your other line, but here, and you're not going to stop me, uh, so that, it just, it just plowed off, um, and it was literally 10, 15 minutes just circling round, round in front of me. I had, I had no control over it. It was actually ripping drag for, at my feet and everything. So, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it was quite a nice, fat-looking common. It was only, only 14, what did I say, 14, 12. Um, but, but that'll do me after, after doing two blanks on you. Since I'm getting the new ticket for this year, um, that, that one's a cracking first first fish of the new season, um, and it's the first time I've actually caught anything on um, that mainline cell. Um, I've used it once before, um, and I only did use it that once. I bought a kilo of it and um, left it in my bag so it went mouldy, so I binned all them, but um, and didn't have anything the first time I tried it. So I'm quite happy with that. But I've gone, I've actually thought about what I'm doing now and I'm, I'm slightly different methods. Um, I'm actually concentrating just just cell that I'm using. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that result. Um, I, I'd be happy if I didn't have any more. But <laughs> as you go, you can't just be happy with that. You always want that another run. And then if you have that, you want another run. So um, yeah, I've, I've, everything's back out now anyway. Um, let's just hope I get that, uh, get another run. Right then, I'll, uh, see you in the morning if all else fails. Alright, ta-da. <laughs>